We get another break in the snowy weather before things turn wintry again at the end of the week. So tomorrow will be the calm before the storms. We see dry conditions all throughout the day. Once we get beyond the dry weather tomorrow, watch out for a wintry mix. Could see sleet, snow, and freezing rain. Icy conditions likely for New Year's Day. However, one of the trends we've been seeing is uh, the snow and ice amounts maybe on the lower end. Uh, so we're not necessarily going to see uh, the dumping that we did like we uh, had last night where heavy snowfall came down. Same with freezing rain. Could be a little on the lighter end. So leading up to that point, 14 for tonight as the sky continues to clear out. So conditions are going to be pretty chilly throughout the night. And then tomorrow staying below freezing. We see a lot of sunshine, but with that fresh layer of snow on the ground, uh, that helps reflect a lot of sunshine. So temperatures are going to stay on the cooler end as we go throughout tomorrow afternoon. You can see that uh, reflected in our uh, temperature graph throughout the course of the day. Not really rising much. We maybe warm up 10 degrees over the course of the day before dropping back down again quickly after sunset. Then our attention turns towards that next storm system, so we'll go into New Year's Eve quiet and dry. Once we ring in the new year, we have to keep an eye out for that next storm coming in out of Texas. It's going to bring with it plenty of moisture and warm air. However, we could stay just cold enough that we mainly see snow with a little freezing rain and sleet mixing in from time to time. So we're not necessarily going to warm all the way up where we're getting lots of rain showers in on that first day of the new year. Here is future track uh, Friday morning starting out dry and cloudy. You can see as we get into the noon hour, that's when that snow and freezing rain mixture begins to work on in. So initially more on the snowy to freezing rain side. As we go into the afternoon, we start to cool off a little more, so that means a little more snow for us. We're kind of on the cold end of this system, so as a result, may see a little more in the way of snow accumulation, though along and south of I-88, that's where we're getting a little more freezing rain mixing in. By Friday evening, it should be all snow showers as that colder air fully takes hold. That continues through late Friday night. Saturday starts out dry. So keep in mind, uh, we are ne not necessarily going to see heavy amounts of snow and freezing rain, uh, but there may be just enough of both of those that roads look a little icy with some minor snow accumulation, uh, especially in the afternoon to evening. So as you start to think about New Year's Day, uh, just make sure that you are aware that those roads are going to be slick at the farther we go into the day. Later on over the weekend, we see temperatures slightly above freezing under a partly cloudy sky. We warm up slightly uh, next week to the point where we may be talking just straight rain showers on Wednesday rather than snow or freezing rain. And in your most accurate 10-day forecast, that trend continues. We see temperatures in the upper 30s with more possibilities of regular rain showers. James and Kristen. All eyes on Friday, Alex. Thanks.